Good morning, everybody. I'm Teresa Woodard in the WFAA newsroom on a historic day in our nation and definitely in the state of Texas. Joined by Jason Whiteley here, the Supreme Court has overturned Roe versus Wade, that landmark decision that gave women a right to an abortion that no longer stands in the United States. So for the first time in almost 50 years, abortion will be illegal in the state of Texas. The Supreme Court justices in a six to three decision essentially said that it's up to the states now to decide what to do about abortion. A number of Southern states, Texas included, have decided to uh, outlaw abortion here. This is a huge day for Christian conservatives who have been trying to get this done for the past 40 plus years or so. On the other side, you have a lot of a, a lot of women's rights folks, mm -hmm. a lot of women who are upset about this decision. Uh, obviously, it is one of the most contentious items in our country and has been for a half century. Absolutely. So we're going to break down exactly what this opinion says and what it will mean for women, specifically here in the state of Texas. Remember that during the last legislative session, Texas passed what's called a trigger law, which means that within 30 days of this opinion being issued, all abortions in the state of Texas will be outlawed, except we're in that case of saving the pregnant person's life. And there's some confusion over exactly what that means. Would doctors be willing to, to perform uh, that service because it's not exactly spelled out what it means to save a pregnant person's life. I do wanna read quickly, we did get a statement from Governor Abbott within the last few minutes or so. Uh, he says, quote, the US Supreme Court correctly overturned Roe v. Wade and reinstated the right of states to protect innocent unborn children. He goes on to say, Texas has prioritized supporting women's health care and expectant mothers in need to give them the necessary resources so that they can choose life for their child. He says, I signed laws that extended Medicaid health care coverage to six months postpartum, postpartum rather, appropriated $345 million for women's health programs, invested more than $100 million toward our alternatives to abortion program. Basically, he is saying um, that while many on the side that say uh, we don't do enough to serve mothers, if we're going to tell them they have to have these children, we don't do enough to serve them and give them enough um, once the baby